Stadium. Southampton have just won 4-1 against Crystal Palace in their last game of the season. Listen to the roar, an amazing atmosphere and an incredible result. Unbelievable. Yeah. Happy man? Absolutely ecstatic to, to know we're going to finish six, to finish above Liverpool, the only team we've never beaten in the Premier League, to get 63 points, which we've never got in the Premier League. So now, let's go forward. Let's... You're a very happy man. I'm a very, very happy man. Let's do Europe. Let's see where we can go. Are we going to get through the group stages of Europa? Yeah, I think, well, it's going to depend who we get. Let's be honest, there are some very, very good teams in Europe. We're going to have to obviously get through that first qualifying game, which I'm assuming we've got to do, unless we nick that fifth spot, which realistically we're not going to get. All right. Look, referee, look. Oh. Yeah, I'm in a fair play cup today, he's a referee. So, what do you want to know? Here outside St Mary's Stadium for what is the last game of the season. Southampton take on Crystal Palace. So Chris, what did you think of the game today? Brilliant. Uh, although the opposition did come to life in the second half, but it was great testimony uh, to all the season's efforts to the result that we're going to have. An amazing, amazing result and ending to the season. Yeah, it's really, really very good. Yeah. I mean, Graziano did well. Um, I don't know, the whole team, but uh, yeah, they, they did really well. Yeah, great game. Yeah. And so you must have been really thrilled with the result. Yeah, yeah. except for the Spurs result. I'm a Spurs supporter. <laughs> uh, but it, it's a great result because West Ham lost 2-1. So hang on, what are you got? Are it's you guys Southampton yeah. supporters? Yeah, it's my son. Yes, same and sports. He's on a Paralympic pathway to great British football squad. And this is my mate Dennis, who comes with us to the game. Can I grab you for a real quick interview with Saints Fan TV? No. no. <laughs> What's your name? Dan, what's your name? Claire. Claire and you. Do you enjoy the game? Yeah, it's good, wasn't it? Favourite goal? Favourite goal? Graziano Palace. Mm, probably Bertrand's penalty. I would say Mane's. Must have been Mane's first. Yeah. yeah. And do you think um, Ronald Koeman's going to stay on? Yeah, he'll sign a contract later on. And when he does, phone me and let me know when he does. Yeah, sound. Spuds. Nice to meet you. It was a shocking um, surprise of how many goals we scored, but it was quite good. Who was your player of the match? Well, actually, probably Stephen Davis. Stephen Davis, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. He's small, but he sticks in there. He runs back all the time. If, and I think some of our forwards should run back to defend on occasion. Hitting balls through. Nice. Nothing, yep. But brilliant atmosphere in there today. Yeah. Was the atmosphere incredible? Yeah, it was. And what have you got there? Have you got the program from yeah, today? I've got my program. Oh, amazing! Are you going to look after that? Yeah. Oh, player of the season. I think it was the one that looks a bit like my daddy. Oh, Pella. <laughs> Pella. 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 <laughs> Does he? Yes, he does. Does he? Yeah, probably Virgil. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, yeah. Players player and yeah. yeah. No, and again. What about Shane Long? Yeah, very, very close, but I'd still give it to Virgil. Okay. You expect uh, centre forwards to score or be there all the time. But it, you know, he's been a Virgil's been a really good buy for us, and he's proving a lot of the pundits wrong. And I think he's matured as he's been with us. Yeah, uh, Shane Long. Nine eight for me. Shane Long, yeah, he scored some great goals. His heart rate is just amazing. Pressure, fantastic. Just an all-round player. Yeah. So I'd say I think as a unit uh, they've been collectively great. I can could not pick out a player. Um, so, as a team, I've been uh, they're awesome. I couldn't pick anyone out. So, are you a big fan of Ronald Koeman? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Hoping that he stays for next yeah. season? Just discussing that, you know. I mean, he's been a great influence yeah. to the team. And he's, got, he's made such a lot of changes. All good changes. European tour. Yeah. You know, so... So, what are your thoughts? Are we hoping we're going to get through the group stages? Yes, should. Yes, should go get through. Considering our last manager didn't do so good, uh, Ronald Koeman's turned that around. Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, yeah.